Hello everyone, my name is Lebohang Dube and I am going to be helping you today with paper one misconceptions basically. But before we begin, let me please start by thanking Liberty, our sponsor. Thank you so much to Liberty for helping us to bring all this important content to you at home. Please don't forget to download our tenfold education app where you are able to go up and down, sideways and in every way that you'd like to go through the paper. Don't forget to also follow us um, on our YouTube channel at Mindset Learn. So today I will be doing some common mistakes or common misconceptions that come with paper one. Please do remember that paper one is finance and paper one um, is also data handling. So those are the topics that I will be tackling and then a bit of probability as well. So whenever you are studying, just go through um, finance, probability and data handling. So some of the common misconceptions begin, number one, um, with interest. So when we have finance, we will have interest. And we have two types of interest, we know that. We have simple interest, we have compound interest. So the biggest issue that I've found with learners is that compound interest is usually a problem. So please remember that with mathematical literacy, you are not allowed to use the formula. So maybe if you have dropped from core maths and you're coming to math lit, you might be using the formula. Firstly, you are not allowed to use the formula um, for simple interest and for compound interest. So it's very important for you to know that. I'm going to show you a little example of how compound interest is normally represented um, in this particular example. So let's look at what we are given here. So Prince um, applied for a loan of 30,000 and the loan conditions are given below. So obviously we are then given an initiation fee, we are given a monthly loan service fee um, and be careful when it's said to be once off. This simply means you are not going to be adding it every single month because it was that one month, okay? And this one will definitely be added every single month to the loan that you are paying back. So whenever we are told that something is compounded per annum and it's, it's monthly. So firstly, what we need to remember um, is that per annum, means that it's 28% for the year. But when it says to us compounded monthly, it means that 28% needs to be divided by 12. So you are not going to be taking 30% um, and adding 28% every single month because that 28% is per annum. Okay, so we need to be very careful when it comes to that. I'm going to show you a quick example um, of what that means exactly. So if something is per annum, then I definitely know. Um, let's see if that, firstly, let's just look at this table. So I can see with this particular table that there's a certain interest that goes in every month um, and there's a payment that's being paid in the balance. So with compound interest, it's you're going to find that um, in most cases. So what I meant initially was that monthly interest rate is not going to be 28%. So for the monthly, it's not going to be 28% because this 28% is actually for yearly. Okay. So that's percent. That's actually per annum. So just be careful when it comes to that. So we are asked to calculate the monthly interest rate. Firstly, when we are asked for interest, we are actually asked for the actual amount. So interest is the actual amount of money, which will probably be asked later. And then interest rate. So you need to know the difference. Um, interest rate is the percentage. So please know the difference between those two. Um, and that's definitely where we lose our marks. So how would we do this one? We would then take that 28%. So I would say 28% and divide that by 12 because it's per annum. And that is going to give me um, my monthly interest rate. Okay, so 
be very careful. And then it says percentage and it says do not round off. So let's go and see what that would look like. So I would say 28 divided by 100. And then I divide that by 12. And that's going to give me my monthly interest rate. So my monthly interest rate, let's see how many threes I have there. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three. So that's 0, 0,02. 0, 0,02. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1%. That's going to be um, your interest rate for the month as a percentage. And as you see, I'm asked not to round it off. Very important. So I've tackled about three things there when it comes to compound um, interest or interest as a whole. The first thing that I've covered is the difference between interest and interest rate. It's very important for us to know the difference um, because sometimes learners are asked for interest rate and they give the interest. And then when they are asked for interest, then they give the interest rate. So just be careful um, with the difference between the two. And the second thing that I've covered when it comes to that question is the fact that if I'm given something per annum and I'm asked to calculate it monthly, then I need to divide it by 12 before I can do my actual calculations. Very, very um, important. So let's look at the next question. The next question says to us, real cost of the loan. In most cases, um, in most cases, a lot of learners think that when you are asked for the real cost, you are asked for the initial cost that was put in, the principal amount. So the 30,000 is the principal amount, it's the loan amount. But the real cost of the loan is how much you are actually putting back to the bank or back to the person who's loaned you, meaning that it already has um, the interest in it, it already has um, the, 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 the service fee in it. So, so that becomes the real cost of the loan. So let's see how we would do this one. So if you look at um this question here the beautiful thing about this particular question is the fact that everything has already been calculated for you there so when we are doing um the the, the real cost of the loan all we need to do is take this and multiply it by two years and then we just add our service fee um, our, our initiation fee. So our initiation fee is 1,207. So that's 1,207,50 plus um, 1,891. 1,891. There's a comma there. Comma 16. But remember, you are paying this money back um, for 24 months. So just be careful. When they say real cost of the loan, it's not the 30000 because the 30000 is you um, loaning the money. So just know the difference between the two. So let's see what it would be um, in comparison to the 30000 that you went and borrowed. 1,207,50 plus... Uh, 1,891, 1, 16 times 24. So please, please, please do not make that mistake. So look at that. You made a loan of 30,000 Rand and you are paying back 46,595. 595 um, and the comma there is 34. So do you see the difference between the real cost and the difference between the money that you loaned? So be careful um, when it comes to that in particular. And then it says here, Prince claimed that the 
total interest on the loan was exactly 7,903. Verify using calculations. So in this particular case, all you are doing um, is calculating the interest on the loan, which is the subtraction, which is not a, a big issue um, when it comes to learners and whatever it is that we are doing in terms of interest. So I have come to the end of this particular section. Um, let's take an ad break, drink some water, and then let's come back and carry on.